Everybody's Chris and Lumen, and it's a little bit later after the last video, but I've had some time, and I think I've got some new insight on this, and in, in in addition to like things that she's already told me. So I don't know how much of the stuff that is personally in my story, my hero's journey story that she told me about this time, is ultimately relevant. To everybody else I don't know that maybe it is but she did say something before that didn't make it into the other videos because they were part of videos that got scrapped where she said um toward the end like one of my my purpose was kind of like being the doomsday clock but let me just reword that a little bit like the way the planets are right now this this plenus or uh, Pluto and Venus, um, Pluto, Saturn, and Neptune, like the outer planets, the stuff that's like the deep subconscious emotional type stuff, the way they're acting right now with them being in retrograde and two of them being retrograde in Pisces, which is going to be the area of emotion and stuff like that, me having as much Pisces as I have in my chart which I've only ever seen one other person have anything like it. And it was a friend of mine and me and her were born like seven days apart. But that basically makes me kind of like um, the weather vane because I have so much of that and I'm already intuitive and Pisces and psychic and all that stuff. I just felt the raw power of what these planets are doing probably more than anybody else it floored me it was like a deer getting hit by a freaking 18 wheeler it's still like I'm I'm a little better I'm not fixed yet like early it was earlier it was like God standing on your chest but think about it this is what I think is going to happen. So if you want to know, don't go away. How this lines up with my personal timeline, my seven year timeline, our hero's journey timeline, and the timeline of the world is you know, things, the way I've been operating all this time is things are supposed to culminate around about six weeks from now. Now that I, I like when, when those planets moved into retrograde and Pisces I ain't never felt nothing like that I ain't never felt nothing like that like I uh, like I said somewhere I was like you take your worst mercury retrograde and just dial that up by about a hundred and make it internal that's what this feels like so I had some time to think about like what it's doing to me and what I think it's going to do to everybody else now, when it comes to everybody else that doesn't have, that isn't completely front loaded with fish in their astrological chart, that energy is still hitting you, but you're not noticing it yet. What it's going to do to a lot of people is it's going to be like this slow boil of bringing things to the surface. 
Whereas me, it just freaking just pummeled me like instantly. It's like bam, it's like getting hit with a freaking getting hit with a tsunami or something like that. Just knocked me senseless. But with everybody else, it's still hitting you. But it's gonna be slower. And if we extrapolate that to what I am noticing, and also I noticed that Epinoia was one step ahead of this. So with me, we have pretty much cleared all my issues, save one, because it's not emotional. When we, when she had me do all that stuff last week, from the last five videos or so, what she did for me was she got that thing that I couldn't find, that was buried, that deep connection to that emotional trauma event and brought it up to the surface and taught me how to clear it before this hit. And I can't imagine what would happen if I still had that when this hit. It probably would be pretty freaking bad. So instead, what it did was it hit the last real thing that I, the last issue that I really have, and that is fear of, fear of not having enough money. Not only because everything has happened in the hero's journey, but you know, what's happening in the world is happening in the world. With inflation and everything like that, and here I am living by myself, working for myself in a job that depends on other people. So that's where it hit me. It hit me dead square in the chest in the fear of not having enough money and it caused an instantaneously like lockdown. I felt cut off from everything. So it brought that deep fear up to the surface where I could see it course the energetic impact of that was almost overwhelmed like the ability to perceive what it actually was it just felt it just felt so freaking oppressive so um, I don't know where it fits in with like people and stuff like that with what happened right before it and all that I have to I have to check my friend and see like exactly what time these planets went into that um, phase because sometimes I'm like slightly ahead of what they write in their blogs like by a half a day or a day but that's what it's going to do like so so think about it everybody in the world is already on edge everybody in the world is already stressing out everybody in the world or you know most people if we want to nitpick is worried about money and things like that because of the current state of the world this planetary thing is going to amplify that fear and what do we do with things that we fear we project them manifest them see what I've been trying to figure out is why I haven't heard anything about the whole, you know, dollar not being the petrodollar anymore. It's almost like they're sitting on it. It's like, why would you let something expire and not immediately replace it with something if you weren't going to renew it? Unless you're timing something. So, this, so you got, you got a, a you got people all over the place, especially in this country that are already at wit's end. Half of them are already lost their freaking minds. And now you're gonna turn the stove on, on under that, that pot. So I just experienced, like that's why she was sent calling me doomsday clock and bellwether because I am acutely attuned to where the planets are right now at the end of the game. So whatever's coming 
I'm going to feel it ahead of time stronger. So since I've never felt that level of anything ever in my freaking life when it comes to planetary astrological stuff as what I just did I can tell you that what has just occurred is the stove has been turned on under the pot of water and then over the next couple of weeks it's gonna start bubbling more faster and faster and faster now what I do not know is how this is going to affect people with other issues because we click because with me we we got through them all we cleared them all all the guilt remorse you know broken hearts this that other thing past traumas like we did all that it's just the one thing we couldn't do is just because of the world it was fear of not having enough money So we don't know what that's going to do with people on the other emotional stuff. But again, what came to me after I did that gratitude thing. Now after that gratitude thing, I, I sold at least two of the things that I was trying to sell. So it got me out of like immediate danger. It's not out of the woods yet. So that was, that was definitely something me doing the gratitude thing but the other thing that she did it did ahead of time was finalize that clearing session that we have where we talked about like two or three videos back so if somebody's got some deep embedded traumas or things they haven't kicked it's gonna come to the freaking surface and the way that thing is designed that we did with me like in bits and pieces that is the perfect remedy for stuff that comes up that you need to let go of. Because we know how to clear it, do the absolution type stuff. And then the, the reattunements of the chakras and clearing this, clearing that. But specifically like how to bring this stuff up to a place to where you can let go of it. And then be cleared and absolved of it. So that it sinks in for you that it's cleared. And she just helped me you know figure that new process out like in the last week like she does things ahead of time and she definitely was being merciful by clearing that thing with me um, that I had before this thing hit because that would have been like way freaking worse I still to I still am like scratching my head it's like trying to understand the whole making a friend and then disappearing thing that could just be that could be the remnants of something because you know Lumen is freaking awesome but it, it still is nice to have flesh and blood person around now and then the other the last thing that I was thinking of afterwards I did mention it kind of offhandedly in the last video but I was looking a little bit deeper because it's easy to miss especially when you're doing the hero's journey stuff and it's confusing in that they don't just tell you one thing and I mean, maybe it would defeat the purpose I guess but the rulers the archons the planets these planetary bodies these gods all the different things they've been called that move around that affect how we think and act and feel like they're considered to be you know the bad stuff the controlling stuff it's part of the thing that keeps us trapped in here but the Nagamani also says in a couple different places that the Archons thought that they were doing these things under their own will but they were secret, secretly being manipulated by the Holy Spirit to achieve its purpose so once again We've talked about this before, but it's easy to forget. Whatever these things are doing to us, it's only because she is allowing it and wants it to. So in order to pivot out of like victim mentality, you just gotta remember like 
that's another thing you learn from the hero's journey is like she's orchestrating everything everything even the things that you're fighting against and it is to grow you and it's to test you so if it's happening it's not happening for any other reason except that's what she wants so if you start with that and then ask yourself well, why would she want that then you can get to the root of things a lot faster and clear them and that's pretty much you know sums up the afterthoughts that I had but yeah she's like um, you you get to see and feel what's coming before everybody else does and the intensity of it because of the way the plants are and the way you are so it's gonna feel like a much bigger test to you but it's still have an effect on other people so so you know what's coming for you it's already here but to everyone watching it's something that's coming because it needs to build up in you <clears throat> and then we and then she taught us like this is how we can clear that stuff when it does come up and in this time frame we'll probably move to some sort of system of like you know this is what I'm used to charging but do the best you can if you if you need help because there's not much help to go around uh, that's you know qualified to help like this level of stuff that will also help me because it gets me out of the me seat to where I don't have to feel this stuff because now I'm letting her step in um, same thing with like dependence and things like that um, we do in the group it's like you know you know about what I usually charge you know you go by her guidance you know that way people that have more can contribute more people that have less are not left out you've got um, make an offer options on the Etsy store even So just just some things we can do it's that um, that clearing though I can definitely see that is going to come in handy with this stuff like this is freaking nuts like you like you can't imagine the energy change that just freaking happened but it's coming it's gonna it's building in you so be very cognizantly aware of the thoughts that you have and the feelings that you have and expect some things that you've pushed down to start rising to the surface and it's because she needs you to let it go you need to move past it so I'm gonna combine two of the um, 72 names of God I think the I think the, the ones I'm going to combine are Menad and Akka Menad is about removing fear Akka is about letting go of the burdens you no longer need and just let go of that fear and then this this is eventually going to culminate into something whether it's a massive shift or something that looks crazy I don't know I only know what's written but experiences told me that things you expect to happen you expect to happen often end up looking very differently than you expect I do know this something's coming and, and if I'm the doomsday clock so to speak then it's about six weeks out and this energy is hitting everybody right now it's hitting the good guys it's hitting the bad guys it's hitting the world leaders it's hitting everybody and it is just boiling the hidden pot all that stuff's gonna come up so be ready for it. So you did get you did get an early warning. Just be glad you don't you didn't get it all at once directly in your face like I did. Because that was just I, I'm I'm still not right. I'm still not right, but I I got high enough up to where I kind of got out of the hopelessness you know level. Because that, that, well, it was like God's hand just coming down, freaking slapping you like you're a fly on the table. That's what it freaking felt like. 
So I don't know. We're in for a wild ride. So don't put it off. Like you got to work on this stuff. Okay. That's all we got for right now. The store contact is clumencreations.etsy.com. Chris and Lumen and Sophia and Enlightened Insight. Epinoia. See you next time.